Tonight, in light of that tragedy and others in recent years, some are asking the question, how safe is Lake Pueblo? Numbers we pulled show that in recent years, there are more drowning deaths at Lake Pueblo than any other state park. But is that the whole story? Caridio News Channel 13, Spencer Soisher joins us live there right now, taking a closer look at the lake and its safety record. Spencer. Martin Heather, it's important to note that Lake Pueblo State Park is one of the, if not the most heavily attended state park in all of Colorado. But when it comes to mishaps on the water, there's one thing that we heard today over and over again from boaters, and that's about the wind. In Pueblo, there are fewer things more fun than riding a boat on Lake Pueblo. It's in my backyard. I live around the corner, so it doesn't get any better than this on the good days. But even days that look good on the surface, can quickly be ruined by the wind. the wind. The wind can come out of nowhere. It is very, very dangerous. Stephen Foreman likes to get his boat wet in Lake Pueblo at least twice a week, but he knows to be ready for anything Mother Nature throws his way. I'm always looking. And that's a wise move. Since 2020, there have been seven deadly drownings at Lake Pueblo State Park. That's more than the next two highest attended parks, Chatfield and Cherry Creek, combined. It is the most visited state park in Colorado, which by nature, by numbers, you're going to have higher rates of everything, right. accidents and good and bad and ugly. Um, but I can tell you for a fact, if you don't have eyes in the back of your head when you're out here, that wind can come up fast. Those dangers have been realized once again over Memorial Day weekend, a boat filled with 13 people capsizing, injuring 11 and killing a married couple. In addition to the boat being overcrowded, investigators also believe wind was a factor. It even impacted searchers. One of the difficulties in this search is that the wind was, you know, at least 35 miles an hour um, and gusts a lot higher. A hazard that seasoned boaters know all too well here. It's all about the wind. If the wind is going to be bad, then of course we would get in our life jackets and, and make it back to here. Now, right now, there is a GoFundMe set up to benefit the children of the victims who passed away in that tragedy over the weekend. We have verified that GoFundMe link, and it's posted in our article right now on KRDO.com. For now, reporting live at Lake Pueblo State Park, I'm Spencer Soisher for KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Spencer, thanks.